okay, I'm sitting here with Tony Anderson from the OLPC pro from the OLPC project, and um, yeah, I'd like to ask Tony, what is OLPC? One lap per top per child. Uh, the focus of the project is to put computers in the hands of children in the developing world, primary school children, community school, uh, and that each child should have their own laptop so that they can own it in the sense of being able to do whatever they want to. The next day it's the same laptop, so the work they did the day before they have, uh, and so on. Uh, and they have built uh, the XO laptop as the vehicle. It's now in the fourth generation. Uh, the XO4 is uh, with a touch screen, still the same physical uh, configuration. So, uh, what, what has your work been in particular with the old PC project? Well, the OLPC project, uh, there's now over two million of these machines distributed to schools. About 80%, I believe, are in South America. Uh, Rwanda is the largest de deployment in Africa. But we have many, many groups in the international community that are supporting a school in virtually every uh, country in the, on the planet. Afghanistan, Madagascar, uh, everywhere. Kenya, Uganda. So it's, it's a quite wide-scale project, and aside from official OOPC, there is an international volunteer community that's heavily involved and very important. Um, if, I come, if I remember correctly, then, uh, you've been around deploying the OLPC in Rwanda. Can you uh, can tell me about your experiences there? Yeah. Uh, Rwanda has made a commitment as a country to provide the laptops to all of the children in the primary school. Uh, they've chosen to do it for the grades four, five, and six. Um, and they have now deployed, uh, I think, uh, close to 10,000 laptops. But they have over two million children in that age range of primary school. One of the big limiting factors they have there is one we might not expect, but the schools don't have electrical supply. So they're having to come up with solar panel systems and uh, charge batteries and so on, which is fairly expensive and takes some planning and time uh, to put together. And that's really limiting the pace at which the, the laptops are being distributed. Uh, computing, uh, one of the things that's quite uh, surprising in a way, but it shouldn't be, uh, computing is not a part of the culture in Rwanda. So the adults as well as the children don't have some understandings about computers that we just take for granted. And this then makes it much more difficult to deploy because we have to show things that we would never have expected to do uh, to help build it. So I was very surprised after giving a workshop that the biggest limitation on the teachers was not their ability to use the laptop. They were doing very well they didn't know what a computer could do, so they didn't know what to ask for. Uh, it, it, this think, is a yeah. problem, so uh, it's a very interesting experience. Mm -hmm. Is there any last, uh, um, any last thing you want, to, you want to tell our viewers or you want to convey to, uh, uh, to the viewers of a German language uh, technical uh, video podcast? Support for the project is uh, at every level and every variety. Uh, this is going to be a long time uh, project. Uh, what's being developed for this laptop will be in use on machines we can't imagine at this point uh, because the software tends to last much longer than the hardware. Uh, Germany is doing a great job in supporting this program in a variety of ways. There's a group in Stuttgart that's providing the laptops to the school that I work with in Rwanda. Um, uh, Simone Champier, who's here in Berlin, is the release manager for the software for the old PC. Uh, so there's very important connections. Uh, Bert Freudenberg, who's a developer for eToys, is very heavily involved with OLPC and, and implementing eToys. And we need a lot more help at every level. Okay. Uh, people can get go to o, uh, OLP, the OLPC website is laptop.org. The Sugar Labs website is sugarlabs.org, and there they can find mailing lists to, to join. Uh, it's not that difficult to get involved. It's difficult to get uninvolved, but it's not that difficult to get okay. involved. And there are many, many things to do at every level. Uh, so we can use any skill that's available uh, at any time. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.